Let's get you up to on Hurricane Milton. This is the 10 a.m. Tuesday update. We know a lot of you have interest in the state of Florida, and here we go. This is a Category 4 storm right now. Maximum sustained winds of 145 miles per hour. Expected to strengthen, become a Category 5 storm again, and continue to move off toward the east-northeast toward Tampa. Now, late Wednesday into early Thursday, the center of circulation forecast to move onshore as a Category 3 storm. Winds are going to be very, very strong, and the storm surge will cause some catastrophic damage, especially from Tampa down toward Fort Myers. During the day on Thursday, it'll move across the state of Florida, going over Orlando, and then back out into the Atlantic. We take a look at the radar right now. Some of the outer bands from this storm, which is still about 500 miles away from Tampa, are pushing in to southwest and south Florida. So just south of Fort Myers, say Cape Coral, through Naples, Bonita Springs, Marco Island, along Alligator Alley, all the way over toward Miami, they're getting rain from this hurricane and flooding concerns across South Florida as they will not have the strong winds like they will up in Central Florida, but still could see some flooding down across Southwest and South Florida. And of course, the storm surge that will cause tremendous amount of damage from Tampa through Sarasota, Port Charlotte, back toward Fort Myers. Areas that are still recovering from Hurricane Ian two years ago could see a storm surge of greater than nine feet. Places like Siesta Key will be dealing with an incredible amount of damage as all this water from the Gulf of Mexico moves on shore. We will continue to track this for you.